Hey you! Yeah you! Get this. It's a crossbow that generates more crossbows. What's up YouTube? Zero here. And today I have a legendary gun review of the crossbow generator in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, I'll go through the overview of the crossbow generator that I have. Then we'll get into some more gameplay. I'll go over the crossbow generator in general, its perks, the benefits of using it, some of the drawbacks. Then I'll tell you where you can grind for this gun if you're looking for this legendary assault rifle. Then at the end of the video, I'll get into fate or hate. Is the crossbow generator fated to be in the fate maker's hands or should you trash it because you're going to hate it? Before we get into it, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. Without further ado, let's get into the crossbow generator. So I have the practice crossbow generator of the Watchmaker. This is a black powder legendary assault rifle. Damage is at 615, accuracy is at 66%. 60% for the handling, 2.7 seconds for the reload time. Fire rate is at 4.67 per second, and the magazine size is at 14. Mine's enchanted on spellcast, increase ability damage by 30% for 10 seconds. Mine's increased gun damage by 26%, and increased fire rate by 27%. Increased reload by 15%, and 1.7 time zoom. Cross bolts deal 4% increased damage. For each cross bolt stuck in the target, bolts last 6 seconds. So that is a nice benefit to have on the crossbow generator as well. But now that we've gone through the overview of the crossbow generator that I have, let's get into some more gameplay and talk about the bread and butter of the crossbow generator. Of course, it's a crossbow that deals more crossbolts. So what happens? Well, your gun, this is a black powder rifle. And black powder is equivalent to Jacob's in the Borderlands that we all know and love. And a lot of Jacob's guns would ricochet. Well, the crossbow generator is actually going to ricochet from enemies and explode three times. So you're going to be generating more crossbolts that hit enemies. Well, one is going to hit an enemy. Then it's going to ricochet to other enemies and explode three times. So we have our name of the crossbow generator essentially doing what its name is it's generating more crossbolts so if you want to deal damage to a group of enemies this may be the assault rifle for you now some of what i found as the drawbacks is that on the initial shot it just doesn't feel as powerful as other assault rifles have felt whether it's because the fire rate just isn't quick enough and can't deal as much damage or just because the first shot isn't as good, you're ricocheting some of that damage to other enemies. But you can deal a decent amount of damage to groups of enemies. Now the crossbow generator does not come with any elemental damage, so you're not going to find a crossbow generator that has any elemental damage types at the making of this video. So of course, the game can always get updated, but at this point in time, the crossbow generator does not come with any elemental damage. Now, if you are looking to grind for this gun, head over to Tangle Drift. This is the quest, a small favor, and the boss who's going to drop it is Caster. So remember, Tangle Drift, a small favor quest, the boss Caster. Now you can also get this from the Chaos Chamber. I did get it at the end of one of my Chaos runs in the Chaos Room where you can get a bunch of weapons. So now that we've gone through the overview and where you can go to grind for this gun, let's get into Fate or Hate, where I tell you if you should keep this or just hate it and throw it away. The crossbow generator does have a decent amount going for it. It generates more cross bolts. You do your initial damage to your enemy, and then it ricochets to more enemies, dealing damage to them as well. What's nice is you can deal a lot of damage to a group of enemies. However, the initial shot just doesn't feel extremely powerful. And again, since you are ricocheting some of your ammunition, 
when you're facing bosses that don't have groups of enemies around them, you're kind of lessening the damage that you could be dealing if you utilized another gun. I found a lot more success with other legendary assault rifles and not as much for the crossbow generator. While I want to love this gun because I do love black powder rifles, I just can't and I'm going to hate this and throw it away. But let me know in the comment section what you think of this gun. Until next time, peace.